Hey, everybody, it's your Common Sense Reviews crew of the Learning of Variety, Tanner, Chrissy, editors at Common Sense. Every Tuesday, put up the banner, we come to you with a new review, talk about a tool that may be of interest to you as a teacher or student or whoever is looking for learning tools on YouTube. Chrissy, what have we got today? Today, Tanner. We have a product called Pebble Go, and you can find it at pebblego.com. Um, and so what I want to do is first show you our review. Five stars. I mean, come on. This is nuts. Five double, stars. Not, not easy to come by. Double five. Double five, five from us, five from the community. We're, everybody agrees. Everybody <laughs> is in perfect alignment. Pebble Go is great. It's sort of. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, right up front, it's not <gasps> cheap. Also, it's only like school or district level, so this is not an individual teacher situation, which yeah, I think is unfortunate. And I hope in the future they add an option so that there's some way individual teachers can use this site. There is a free trial, so you can check it out. And then if you need to convince people, if it looks like something that would be super useful for you, um, then go for it. But let me show you why you might want to recommend it. If you are looking for nonfiction sources for little kids, like kindergarten through third grade, this could be a great place for you. It has lots of what they call modules about different subjects. And let me just take you on a short tour here of what you would find. So let's say you want to just turn kids loose as you really would not be able to do with young elementary school kids on the open internet, open wa open deep waters. You don't know what they're going to find. <laughs> You don't know, uh, they don't know how to do an efficient internet search at that, at that time, but you want them to have good targeted information that's kid-friendly and has supports, especially if they're emerging readers, et cetera. So um, you can go into, yeah. What did you say? I didn't say anything. Oh, it, so, sorry. It might be I your cat. Thought, <laughs> it, it could be. It could be one of the cats. Yes. Um, <laughs> let's go into mammals. And you see that there is support if you are having a hard time reading. If you uh, are an emerging reader, there's some support right out of the gate. One, one quick we thing I noticed, though, on the main screen, there was Spanish. But on this one, there's not. I was kind of expecting the whole thing to be dual language. Oh, okay. If you well, click through, it kind of takes you into a nice little experience. That's nice. Yes. Liking what I'm That's seeing. That's right. So you can you can choose here. Yeah. In what language you want to approach. Um. Wow, that that voice was different. That was interesting. Okay, so let's take a look at some other mammals, coatis. Here, a kid can listen to the information. There uh, is a glossary definition. Um, they can get all kinds of information in sort of short bite-sized pizzas here. Uh, life cycle, fun facts, etc. cetera. Um, and then down here, they can get the citation information, which is really useful. Uh, so it's again, a great way to get kids started on that path of knowing how to do research. Um, if you want to set kids loose, uh, and they can spin this little wheel just to spice it up. If they're not sure what they want to look up. Could be um, a, a fun, if you were to project this, a good kind of thing to start or end the day is spin the wheel and see what we find. Kind of. Yes. Agreed. Um, and let's see. If you go back into these modules, 
at the bottom here, there are some games. The games are uh, maybe not the highlight of Pebble Go, I would say. Um, but there are some interesting... Like this one, I don't think I've seen too often, this kind of an approach where you're zoomed in and then you take a guess at what you're seeing. So that's a little bit interesting. The rest are, you know, they're fairly familiar types of uh, games. And then you have question of the day. That's just basically like a crowdsource opinion sort of a question, but it's fun, interactive for little kids. Um I think what makes this really a standout resource is all of the supports and all of the um, the features that they have thoughtfully included for this age kid to make it friendly, fun, things that they're interested in, and inclusive of all students. I'll also add that if you go you see here, Pebble go next. So if you decide you want to level up to the next age bracket, uh, past third grade, this these modules can take you into sort of the next step as well. Um, so again, you know, I think the only thing missing, if they had uh, some information about how to do a web search, an efficient web search, I think that would be a great way to scaffold the next step that kids would encounter, which, you know, would be to actually do their own um, fact finding mission on the internet. But this is such a great contained place for kids to get that nonfiction information about topics that are really applicable to curriculum, you know, common curriculum topics. Do you, I think I saw a videos link. Does, does each of those little activities or entries have a custom video if you go to one Let's of the see at yes. the bottom that there's yeah video yep, there are different principles can, yeah videos yep yeah which is nice so some little extra extensions if you want to print those things out and prepare them ahead of time or show the video i do yep. recall i like the last time i looked at pebble go was years and years ago and I remember thinking of it, they, at least they positioned it back in the day as more of a search engine, like a safe search kind of experience. It strikes me now that it's more like a modernized encyclopedia almost, right? Like, Yeah, that's a really good, I think that's a really good way to describe it. It does have that feel for sure. Yeah. A really kid-friendly, <laughs> accessible encyclopedia. Yeah, and a good a good place for research, for projects or writing assignments, that kind of thing. You could you could see it. You can see why they can get away with charging what they charge because it could be a thing in an elementary school that every classroom is making use of, perhaps even on a daily basis in in some way. So yes. So if you want to read that review go to commonsense.org slash education so we have a review of pebble go as well as all kinds of different tools make sure to show up every tuesday to find um out about new tools we re we've reviewed that may be of interest to you um and we will see you next week